What's up? Today I got a package. Um, this is from Footprint. I'm just gonna go on ahead and say that. And we are checking out the shoes I ordered online ahead of time. Most of you guys probably already know what I ordered, but um, I'm not gonna say until I pull out the box, just for the fun of it. I'm gonna check out Footprint's packaging because I've never ordered a shoe from them before. And, huh, it got a little damaged on the way here, but the box, I like a white box, a nice clean white box, I see. Absorbs 90% of impact energy. I'm gonna go on ahead and say we have the Intercept Black. Interesting, size nine. Oh. Ah, here we are. This is Neen Williams Intercept Black five footprint. We're gonna go on ahead and review these shoes. Let's hop right into it. This is a mostly suede shoe. What I do like is that it's not 100% suede, although it looks like it. On the inside, we have canvas. If you guys know, canvas is more of a breathable material than suede, so they leave that type of breathable material here. And being that it's on the inside, your shoe could last a lot longer on the areas where it actually wears. So that's the sub for print. Shouts out to you on that. And there's little perforation holes on the toe bumper and a little bit on the side panel. But it's just mostly this nice quality suede. That's what it feels like. Um, this outsole is actually pretty unique to me. It has like this kind of like dip in, dip out type of thing going on. The toe is like reinforced with this nice like rubber, rougher outer layer here towards the toe like most skateboarding shoes are. And going towards the back, it's a little bit more lifted. This is definitely a cup sole shoe construction. That's what it seems like at least. Definitely a lot thinner than what I thought it would be or slimmer than I thought it would be in person. So that's pretty dope because I love me a slim looking shoe that also performs like a cup sole. Let's see, the insole is removable. It is a thinner footprint footbed. Um, feels very similar to the regular footprint technology, but not quite there to the footprint technology, but it is removable. So you can also throw in your removable footprint insoles aftermarket or whatever other insole you'd like to throw in here. Um, I don't know if you guys have gotten a chance to see the like breakdown of footprint shoes, but they have this thin layer, which is their insole. Their midsole has like the king foam technology in it. And then it's the regular rubber and then the outsole, which is the sole here. So it's like a nice little breakdown. The outsole is pretty unique for a footprint. They have like a assortment of different things going on here. I know these like inner circles tend to help disperse like impact. This is around the toe and it also helps with control here. We have that like zigzag pattern, but not as sharp, more of a wavy design. So I also would believe that treading will help out with some form of control or whatever the case may be. Out here on the outside here, this is definitely for grip those indented triangles that helps with the grip of the shoe. And then we have right around where the arch would be, the arch of your foot would sit. We have, this is like a harder material, so it probably will help keep your arch in place here. And probably help out with Primo's because it's a lot harder here than it is in all the other areas. You can push down everywhere else. And then we have a flatter treading for when you like drag your foot towards the back, if you want to stop like that so it doesn't wear away as quickly. Like something I did just notice, like for a cup sole shoe, this is something pretty revolutionary because most cup sole shoes don't flex like this. Like that's a lot of flex for a cup sole shoe. That's pretty nice. So I'm curious. And then it's pretty squishy sold. So I'm curious to how it's going to feel, but it also feels like the sole itself is going to form to your foot too. Cause as I push down on the insole and stuff like that and parts of the sole, it like goes in like it dents a little bit and then it forms back up kind of like memory foam. Thanks again to Footprint. Either way, I still got my knees and I still have this video out for you guys. Hopefully you guys like this shoe. Once again, this is a cup sole construction. So the shoe upper sits inside of the sole and you'll see it on a whole bunch of their diagrams. They've been doing this like cup sole construction for most of their shoes just to keep like the wear and tear down to a minimum. That's the most important thing. Whoa, my toes are in here and it's like, dummy. whoa, <laughs> it's super soft. This is nice. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna like this shoe. Hold on, let me put it on the other side too. No. I didn't get a chance to show you guys the other side. But the other side looks the same, you know? Yeah, shouts out to Neen, this is a nice shoe. Shouts out to Neen and Footprint, actually. If only I had some Footprint socks for my girlfriend and I. You know, Footprint, if you wanna send some socks out, <laughs> you know? All right, shoes are open. And this is what all Footprint shoes feel like. This is, Damn, these go crazy. 
They look a little long from up top to me, but like these are insanely comfortable. It's it's insane how comfortable these are. Look at this. These are comfortable as heck. If this is what Braille gets to deal with like every day, like I'm Aaron Cairo and whoever else skates in footprint shoes, like this is different. Like I feel comfortable and confident, like minus that little thumb pop. I mean toe pop. <laughs> You know, I'm a little old out here, guys. This reminds me of Adidas Boost, like the way this feels. Mm -hmm. Like if you guys have worn any shoe with Adidas Boost, like Ultra Boost, Rivalries, um, well the Rivalries with the Boost in it, uh, NMDs, stuff like that. This is real comfortable. Footprint did a really good job in the. Dang, I'm about to have a crazy birthday session. <laughs> um, if you guys like this review, make sure you like, comment. Share this video and subscribe because it's going to be a lot more videos like this. I'm going to definitely test these shoes out and see how they feel skating around, see how it feels to take impact, and see if I need to even put in my own footprint insoles into the, a footprint shoe or if I could just leave it with a standard sock insole and be completely fine. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Everybody's living like the clock don't change Being comfortable, look with to the same old thing I'll be damned if I am living like this not a better day It's my time to go and get it, fuck what anybody say